Hi, in this video, I'll be showing you how to add a role to a group, right? So um, as you navigate to the tabs, right? So you go to the edit button and then what's going to happen is, right, is it will be provided all the um roles available for you. So you go to admin, right? And as you type in, it will filter and search for you. And as you right, um, drag it to the right, then all the members of this group, right? will be part of the admin group, right? So now I could save it. And as we save this um, group, right? So what happens, all the members will have admin um, privileges, right? So that is um, one way of doing it if, if the um, role is already existing, right? So as we go back and go to all, and as you navigate to roles, right? So um, the roles can be created from here as you navigate to the right and click new. Or basically, as you create an application or module, right, it auto creates a role as well. So there's quite a few ways. So you have the core rules in ServiceNow. As you install the ServiceNow modules, it could be ITSM, it could be a FSO, it could be ITOM, and so on. It has out of the box roles ready. So I suggest you you reuse <clears throat> reuse um the out of the box rules. And if you are creating an application, then you could reuse those roles, add it to a group, and add a user to that group, and and um, you will have more control over your access to your applications and your modules. I hope I managed to help you. So um, this is best practice in in terms of um user administration, and um, I hope you keep that in mind since it will be part of your examinations at the same time. It is industry practice and it is recommended uh, for you to implement that as well. Thank you.